Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, October 30th, and I have our energy forecast for today, and it's going to be pretty amazing since we're sneaking up on Hallamass or Halloween tomorrow. Um, I do want to put out my disclaimer that 18 and older, please, for this video, and this is for entertainment purposes only, and is no way, shape, or form any replacement or diagnosis for any medical or psychological conditions. Please seek out a professional in that case. Okay, and for private readings, I do accept donations uh, for readings, um, not about the money, I'm about helping with my gifts. So, you know, you can message me here on YouTube if you're interested, or go to, to my website, which is psychiccats.com. So, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Psychic Cats, or Facebook, Psychic Cats. So, anyway, on that note, let's get going with our energy forecast for today, which is a relief to me to see this because I, I mean, I'm not the only one going through stuff right now. Everybody's having different challenges happen, but. The guidance at the end is what got me. So, okay, the main line energy we're going to be dealing with is the queen, uh, represented by the queen. I don't even see that. I'm using the golden thread tarot. It's the queen of pentacles reverse. You guys can't, it's a really pretty card, actually. But anyway, um, so we really want to watch ourselves here. Where are we being dependent, waiting for someone to save us, or we're dependent on someone saving us? It, it, it's about being independent and, and catching that now. Um, it's going to be highlighted today. That's why I feel I feel that everything's going to be highlighted where we're dependent, where we can be independent or on our own, so to speak. So, And uh, the thing is, is I also pulled cards from my shapeshifter deck. I always pull them out around Halloween. Uh, and I didn't mean for them to clarify <laughs> the energies, but they did. They came up in a row. Um, it's talking about taking action, actually now taking action ourselves, you know, st stepping through the fear and, and being strong and confident in following our hearts instead of looking to others all the time. I mean, it's one thing to have people kind of come in and direct you or guide you, you know, or little angels or the, you know, people cross our paths for many reasons, but when we start becoming dependent on that, that's when we lose the magic there because that's not what they're there for a moment for to help you out here but not all the way down the road now in saying that uh i the clarification that came up was once upon a midnight dreary and she talks about focusing mostly on your creativity your genius in writing expression uh, artistic flow um i really feel there are people that need to express themselves out there in another way and that's where confidence might come in um, for some of you uh, expressing yourself in any way artistically. So we might want to start digging into the things that help us feel proud, the, the things that help us feel confident. You know, we have to start really, really being comfortable stepping forward in our authentic self. And it's okay if we need help, but it's nice to have help, but you don't want to have a crutch either. So that's one of the things you're going to be highlight. This is for everybody. Nobody's excluded in this. That's when the energy's here. Watch out for your crutches. So what's really nice is towards the uh, mid-morning, beginning of the afternoon, like I'm talking about after 12, this beautiful energy comes blasting in. I mean blasting. We're all going to feel like, woohoo, which is quite the opposite. Usually it's like, woohoo, in the morning and ugh, in the afternoon. But got the star the star oh my gosh new beginnings opportunities we really need to keep out our uh, open up uh, for synchronicities opportunities um and what's really here we go again i don't make this shit up people this is how the cards came out the dragonfly mermaids talking about wonderful news or messages coming in so uh giving us that lift uh, it's like a renewal of hope where we we're sitting there going god what are we gonna do you know fuck you know, this, there's no way out. I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I feel like I've exhausted my resources and then something's going to come in that's going to change that perspective. Um, only because, and I feel this very strongly to tell you, if you've not wavered in your faith, if you've kept strong and focused on what you really want to manifest and for your highest good, we're going to get the rewards today. We're going to see, we're going to hear that on the physical plane. Uh, to give us that nice relief. So that's coming in uh, this afternoon. And uh, crossing into that about mid-afternoon through the evening, we've got the emperor charging in here. Yes. Um, 
what I'm feeling is, um, you know, sometimes we get overconfident and sometimes we, the energy I feel will probably kind of go to some people's heads. Okay. To where we feel like we're kind of like puffed up and we know best and we can be very, we can come across very stern and maybe even stubborn or demanding without meaning to. It's just the mode we're in that, that energy flow. So we're being asked and guided not to fall into that and be very aware how we're communicating with others this, uh, tonight. Um, to really be open because there's going to be a mixture of emotions and, and you know everybody's different there's different signs different aspects different influences how we react how we react to things is a big one because we are in charge of that right so um but we really need to be open and compassionate and understanding uh the emperor represents like he's above like all kings and queens right in the tarot so in saying that he governs, he's supposed to protect, and he's supposed to watch over these these regions, these, these other, um, it's basically his sons and daughters, which are the kings and queens, are ruling all these kingdoms as he watches, he's ruler of the world, so to speak. So, but he need to do it with a kind of a parental type energy, uh, being stern with love. Does that make any sense? I hope so. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so the card that came up for that too was, and I've been feeling this and getting this over and over again. And a lot of other intuitives are doing this too. We were picking up the Eight of Pentacles, which has to do with learning and study and learning and study and expanding our career mind and, and going to bring up old ideas because they'll apply now. Well, this one talks about, it's the fairy ring. New skills, advanced training, and rapid improvements. Expect things to pick up and be speedy with the things you're starting, anything new skill, skill sets that you're learning, anything you started working on, you're going to start seeing rapid movement there. Um, improvement in things, it's going to branch out. So uh, in work, especially work and career is what I feel. Um, your hard work is not being unnoticed and you will start hearing the accolades or seeing them uh, this week is what I am feeling on that. Now, the guidance is interesting because I pulled from the Wisdom of the House of Night uh, as I work with her, uh, that I call it to her. She's a she's a wonderful deck and she is a, my new moon deck. So since we're going into the waning moon, I was really drawn to pull her and ask her, what's the advice you know you got for all of us today? And she gave me this. Cycles, look at the moons. Cycles. And what that, what that uh, entails has to do with and I think this is really ironic, and I'll explain why in a minute. <clears throat> what goes wrong comes around. And today, and then probably going into this week, I don't feel, I feel midweek, like maybe late Thursday, oh, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, we're going to see, or maybe we're starting to see repeated patterns. Something that occurred before is happening again. Whether it be an ex uh, relationship situation, home situation, career situation, friend situation, family situation, it's back again. Now, now, maybe in a little different form, and, but it may give you this feeling of deja vu. I've, I, we've done this already. Well, you're doing it again. Now, what this card imparts to us, that telling us that whatever action you took on this situation before, it's coming back around now. So it said it better have been good. <laughs> That's exactly the quote because I looked at it. I was like, oh, no. So, no. But, um I'm in the exact situation I was in a month ago. I'm not kidding. And I'm like, oh, you know, what do I do? I'm doing everything I can and, and shit, you know, what do I do? I'm panicking. And it was like, gave me this. I read that and went, oh, yes, I, it's the exact same situation. I'm in a different spot, but same thing. So I'm like, okay. And then I realized what I had done before was the right thing to do and it worked out perfectly. And I'm like, okay, then I'm okay, I'm good. So anyway, um, that's just an example of how the cycle energy or the karmic energy and uh, other intuitives have been bringing this up too. There is a heavy sense of karmic energy uh, increasing, okay? And I'm not saying this to scare anybody. That doesn't mean it's bad, okay? The karmic energy could just be, you know, learning your lessons and, and like looking back at a bad relationship and and really seeing the whole picture because a lot of us just see the actions of the other person or ourselves we don't see 
what we needed to learn there, the emotional aspect will block that. And the widening perspective really helps with the, this karmic energy. It helps us to see things as they really are underneath all the BS that's on the surface. And what we had to learn from it and a lot of the themes uh the themes actually all point to what we really need uh in certain state career love and self so on that note guys i hope you have a great and wonderful day and i know i sound a little eh, i'm tired i did do this late tonight something told me to do it this evening probably because i'm going to end up sleeping in before i go to work tomorrow so anyway sending you all love and light today and Regardless of these energies, they're very loving and supporting. So just make sure you just try to stay focused in the moment. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about things. You got to stay right here because it's right here in the way we feel right now in this moment is what branches out and sets the tone for five minutes from now, an hour from now, tomorrow, next month. So let's be open. Let's be loving and tolerant and compassionate <laughs> as we get through our day, just like everybody else. And remember, self-care, to love yourself. You're amazing. You're a badass. And you're fighting. And you know what? It is noticed. And you will start seeing the rewards, I promise. And shout out to my Jade Emperor. I'll be seeing you soon. On that note, namaste.